Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. I have been reading your comments and I have seen a lot of you are struggling setting up your PlayStation 3 controller to your PC. It's actually not that difficult to do and that's why in this video I'm going to try and make it as clear as possible on how to do this. First, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on my website. All you need to do is press the PS3 driver for Windows download link. The reason why I am doing this all on my website is A, I want to launch off my website and B, it's just easier updating all the links because I'm constantly updating my website and it just makes life a lot easier for myself. Once you have clicked on this link, you will now end up on a website that looks like this. All you need to do is press download over to the right hand side here and you need to press save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we can now drag this to our desktop. We can now right click on the file and go extract. The program I am using here is called Winra. The link will be on my website to download that program as well. Once the file has finished downloading, you can now open up the folder. And you now need to go into this folder here and go into the bin folder. And you now need to right click on the SCP driver and run as administrator. Once you've got this window open, you now need to plug in your PlayStation 3 controller and you should have all four red lights flashing and you also need to plug in your Bluetooth adapter. If you're using a laptop, then it should have Bluetooth built in anyway, but obviously if it doesn't, then plug in a adapter. We can now go force install and we need to press install. If you did get a window pop up saying that allow trusted driver to be installed, you need to press accept. Once that's all finished, you should now have number one flashing on your PlayStation 3 controller. But before we do anything else, we are now going to restart our computer. Once you have restarted your computer, you can now turn on your PlayStation 3 controller and you should have a solid red light underneath number one on your PS3 controller. If you don't have this, don't panic because all you need to do is go into the folder and you now need to right click on the scpserver.exe and run as administrator. If it says disconnected under pad 1, that doesn't actually mean anything because if I go into the SCP monitor, you will see that my PlayStation 3 controller is actually connected under pad 1, which is all great. If your computer isn't booting up the scpserver.exe, then we can always add it to our startup folder. To do this, all you need to do is right click on the SCP server and go copy. You now need to press the Windows key and R, and you need to put in shell startup and press OK. You can now right click and go paste shortcut, and it will now launch the server every time you log into Windows, which will sort out the problem. I'm now going to jump into a game and show you that the controller is working fine through Bluetooth. And as you can see, I'm using the PlayStation 3 controller in 7 days to die. And the red light is now flashing as well. So if yours is flashing, don't panic. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.